YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are glad that you have joined us today. It's going to be a good day. It is time. Finally, it has come. We've got our motor to put on the lift out there. So dad is going to work on that and we're going to be able to have the truck working and back into the shop to help us with production. So it's going to be a good one. Come along. So the old one had a plastic tank. This one now has a metal tank. And normally our motor is black like that. This one's kind of silver shininess. The pump looks quite close to the same as the old one did, but we're gonna get that out and taken off. We'll put you on a little time lapse here and you can watch dad work at fever speeds out here. So dad and I walked around looking for bungee cords the other day. We could not find any. Um, we knew that we had some. We'd had a bunch. We weren't sure what was going on. We looked around the whole shop. Finally, the other day, we did notice there was a couple that are right there, but we knew we had more than that. Well, we're out there taking uh, the stuff off of the lift. It's been covering it. And what did we find here, Dad? I... <laughs> you Another... know, I, I am at the age where I can now hide my own Easter eggs and wrap my own Christmas presents. There we go. So currently we are missing some of our ratchet straps and actually more than the ratchet straps themselves. We're missing the, the ratchets. ratchets. We, have the, we have the straps, but we're not sure where the ratchets are. We only have two ratchets and we should have at least four, maybe six, eight, 12 of them really. Um, they do get lost over the years and they, they get rusty and we toss them every now and then and have to buy new ones. But the, uh, we're not sure. Some of them walked away. Maybe one, of the, uh, maybe one of the other guys in the family have them, used them for something we can't remember and they've got them sitting somewhere. We're not sure, but maybe they'll show up in a spot that we put them that we don't remember. You never know. All right, it was great to get that working. And you could see that there was a lot of movement um, in the weather. It kept on raining on us, then it would get nice again. But that's how it goes. Sometimes you want to work outside and the weather doesn't always cooperate. So that's just part of it. Anyways, luckily now we are good to go with it and she's ready to work. All right, so it's been a little bit since I filmed the other day. I never really filmed this all finished. You saw us working on it with the time lapse, and I don't know how good that time lapse will turn out, but we have a new motor with a new tank. This is a new pump. Unfortunately, we, we had other motors, but this one was required to come all together as one assembly. So we, uh, we had quite the time getting these to the right spot. They were in a little farther on the old pump, so we had to kind of bend them and pull them out. Eventually we got them though. There was enough space up in here that it really wasn't hurting them to bend them a little bit. It just was a little harder than, uh, than we would have liked, but we got her okay and she went together pretty good. So that's been working hard. It moved this around, it moved this around, this big one. There is a big double heart in there that it moved around. So it has been making stones move. This is one dad's about to work on. Got a chipped edge and a chipped edge came that way. Sometimes the markers will have a little bit of a chip. These ones were bad enough, we're gonna have to fix them. So dad will fix those. And here's another marker and another one. So we are busy getting stuff going. I also, I got this stone here moved and uncreated so that I can measure it and get that one cut. And then I got this one right here that I'm gonna uncreate in a minute and then cut that one as well. So I've been busy cutting and I got one in the, in the cut room right now on the plotter cutting, a big one. And I got these stencils done ahead. So we're good and busy today. Got our favorite helper, Grandpa Mel's back to the shop today. Hanging out with us again. Always nice to have him around. I hear dad grinding out here. He must be working on his chisel. We'll show that a little. Here again, here. 
Harrison playing a little basketball. Nice. All right, Dad is getting that edge, hitting it off. that edge a little bit more and it'll be all fixed goes from a unusable marker to a usable one not too shabby once you go down they call do it I believe it's called pointing and it's just all you're doing is making it look a little better you might have to knock a little piece there Just working the edge a little bit, Dad? Just working the edge a little bit. Just to make it look a little more desirable. I am not really experienced with this. I've seen it done a few times. So if you're watching this and you're experienced, <laughs> enjoy a little laugh. Thought we were the pros. We're the gravestone pros in 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 flux. It's just a, it's just a looks thing more than anything. That there. Yep. All right, I'm gonna move on to other things here. So now that we got the lift back working, it is time to get the truck put back on the road. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Dad's gonna stop to the DMV and get her put back on the road, not because of the lift working, but because we are gonna be using it to uh, move the compressor and to do cemetery lettering and that kind of thing this year. So it is almost time to do that. Probably have a video with some of that kind of stuff coming out, hopefully, but we are crazy busy. So we'll see how much time dad has to actually film while he's out working on that kind of stuff. It might be a little sparse, uh, for some of that content this spring, but we'll get some into the summer. There'll be time to show uh, that process. And if you're wanting to see those processes, we've got videos from last year showing them and the year before even. So there's lots of that. Anyways, thank you so much for coming along. We will see you all next time. <laughs>